Welcome back to the channel, Tony here. So today I'm, I'm meeting up with John. I hooked up with him yesterday and we're gonna go, he's a local, he's lived here all his life and he's another adventure bike rider. And we, we did some riding in the afternoon, but today we're gonna go ahead to the Wachita Forest and we're gonna go ahead, National Forest, and we're gonna go ahead and do a, a couple routes there. We're supposed to be meeting up at Crow's, so I'm about a half hour late, but he hasn't called me, and half hour late is probably both of us being a half hour late. We'll see. But this is a nice little ride. This is a typical kind of back roads kind of ride and scenery that you're gonna get here in Arkansas. Earlier it was really forestry. Now it's kind of opening up. Yeah, it's nice and cool in here. Better late than never. <laughs> I made it. All right, so we're on Highway 9 right now, and this will take us to our first uh, into the forest there. Can't really remember the names, but I'll link it up there. 9, you got a Highway 7, and then there's a lot of roads off of that, a lot of dirt roads, forest roads. Here we go. All right, so we're on the, this is 57. Yeah, this is really nice. It's a little rocky, but definitely nice. I'm dusting out John back there. Must be a hiking trail area. <laughs> calm down, Iron Butterfly, calm down. All this glory. It's so... So nice with the way the light comes through on the trees. This road's not too bad. It's, you know, what they call an improved, you know, maintained road. So, you know, they fill in a lot of the uh, nasty stuff. But you, I don't know if you saw that big rock protruding out. You got to be careful with that. You don't want to hit, hit that. But yeah, this is so, so nice and foresty. So we're headed up to a lake. I forget the name of it, but we'll take a look and see what that's see what that's called. Really nice. I love the mixture of trees. You know, you get the the pines and the maples, and I'll have to ask John what these are because I don't know what they are. Some big loose rocks. Yeah, this, I thought this was going to be a spectacular kind of ride. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That's really nice. So what, what are those trees? Oh. Oak. Is there maple too? Like that, are they all oaks, pretty much? Okay, so that little one right there is oak. Oh, okay. I thought they were maples for some reason. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So we're gonna be taking a left up here. Yeah, so we're gonna come up this way. Yeah, so he's saying those are oak trees. Like this tree right here, that's all oak trees. So you got the mixture of oak and the mixture of the of the junipers or pine or whatever they're calling them. Aha, uh -huh. a dispersed camp. So this is what they're calling a dispersed campground.
not too bad. There's no dispersed camping in, in Texas. So it's really nice about here. It's like I could just hop up here, pitch, you know, go riding all day in this area, pitch my tent and just hang out here for a couple of days, you know, providing gas. But, you know, at least, you know, even if I was like traveling through Arkansas and I wanted to stay somewhere and didn't want to stay in a hotel, I'd just come up and find the first dispersed camping. Almost like when going out to Colorado, I can do that in Colorado, but you get through Oklahoma, you know, you got to get through Oklahoma and probably New Mexico. I don't yeah. know where you camp at anymore in Oklahoma. So here's our dispersed camp. First one. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at all that right there. That's really nice. It's rocky, but it's not the loose kind of rock. It's just a, you know, embedded rock rocky. Love the way the light's coming through. It's really nice. All right, Iron Butterfly, you can climb. You can climb. It's like there's been some water here. They did get a lot of rain, but you wouldn't notice it. Oh, I mean, I guess you can. The, the ground isn't really super dusty, which is nice. Looks like we're going down. Might be because there's a lake around here. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, not going through any bogs like that, even with the second rider, you know. Oh, the nether, another dispersed campsite. That's two so far on this road that we could see that are right off the road. Yeah, I mean, you can't beat that when you have forest like this and then you can just come up here and disperse camp like that and then ride all day in this forest you know again it's going to be depending on on your uh, gas situation because there's really no gas stations around here so it looks like that might be another dispersed camping yep that was another one it's saying go straight but there's no fork so that must just be like a four-wheeling road or and then how about that <laughs> no <laughs> some more dispersed camping right there oh, that's like four so far if i'm keeping count of ones that are just right off this road john's being a good sport to let me uh kind of lead the way here yeah that's that uh that shale i'm not sure what that is i think that's probably um oh geez what is it it's probably going to be Slate, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to ask John next time we stop. Yeah, so today we're just, we're, uh, we're sightseeing. We're, we're not uh, doing all of our uh, tearing down the roads because, you know, you're going to miss all this. There's little, th little things that you see. Lake Winona, that's, that's the name of the lake, Lake Winona. So, this, this goes that side of the lake, this goes that side of the lake. I think we're gonna go this way, as good as place as any. <laughs> so we stopped at Lake Winona. There's a couple fishermen here. This is pretty remote. I mean, it's a nice long ride on a, on a dirt road to get here, but it's a nice lake. It's fairly remote. So this route we came in, we could have went up on that, that ridge here, but we're on the opposite side. It does loop around. You could come all the way around. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> Two adventure bikes, just going out for an adventure. You got the local, and you got the tourist. <laughs> They're doing well. They're in good company. Onward.
sure does feel nice once you stop and then you you're, you're all sweaty and you get going and it's like ice packs on you oh, that's beautiful yeah we're in a really neat section of the forest right now it looks like they properly thinned this forest so just to give you some context on on this journey we're probably about a quarter of the way for today's ride yeah, having that extra fuel really helps out. I mean, I got a full tank now. So when we stopped there at Winona Lake, uh, we think I was down to, to three bars. Well, I just went ahead and, and, and about three bars and I could dump that whole tank and I'm full. So now I've just got a fresh start with a full tank of gas. And uh, if you're coming out here doing this, riding out here, you're definitely gonna to need to bring fuel because there's no gas stations out here. And if you do find one, it's gonna be 87 octane. You know, you can also bring an octane booster and, and, and that's fine, but still just getting to a gas station is gonna take you a while. So I would definitely recommend bringing some um, auxiliary fuel. Uh, yeah, that way. There's roads all over the place here. Yeah, I'll see if we can get a view down there. That's really nice. Hopefully we can come to a clearing and see that. But that's gorgeous. Maybe we'll get a peek over here. Can't really see. You can see the mountains way over there. It's pretty nice, huh? Yeah. So all this, oh, yeah. all this area, because that that was another route right there. So these routes run, like you said, the ridges run parallel. So if we would have went further down on nine, we would be on that route. Wish we had some clearings where we can just look out over all that. So we're almost at the end of this leg, and then we got another leg, which is eleven that we're gonna be taking after this. This is really gorgeous, this is a nice one. So yeah, we should be coming up to the highway here real soon. So here we are at the end of this one, and then there's 11 right there. It's kind of convenient that they're kind of uh, looped up together like that. So this will be 11. All right, so we just turned on to 11, and this will take us to Highway 27. Yes, there are log trucks. Someone's got your spot. Yeah, they're on bicycles. All right, so this is the second half of the ride. These are what are considered the scenic routes, so they're just scenic routes, forest road, but they're pretty much a, a popular scenic route. Uh, Well-maintained roads. There are a few straightaways though that, that you can open it up. Hopefully we'll get some scenic views up here. Yeah, so there's kind of two ridge, ridges to this area. So there's, we're on the left. Actually there's like about three that run parallel. So we're kind of in the middle right now. There's another one to the, uh, right and another one to the left yeah but there there should be some good views down here we'll see if we can stop you can kind of see it's, you know, that's the tough thing about being in a forest like this with all these trees and everything. 
you don't you can't really see the the stuff because there's not really a clearing you know so there's rare spots that you get where you can actually see and there's a clearing you know it's like right there you can you can kind of see through there the clearings right there but again and also if you're blowing by you're not seeing anything but this tunnel you know it becomes a tunnel so at a slower pace you can actually look over and you can see the you know the the, the views beyond through the forest here it's pretty you know dense foliage so it's kind of hard to see but you can still see way over there the mountains you know and that valley that goes down there yeah this is gorgeous though still got some some wildflowers the little yellow guys a real comfortable ride you know nice breeze even though it's 87 out but that beats 97 that's a huge difference you can get a little peek right there of the other mountain you can't really see the other mountain over there so they're kind of like three parallel ridges which uh, here in Arkansas you can kind of see over there they typically they typically run uh, east to west or yeah east to west or west to east whatever but they're going to be usually parallel with each other and right now we're on the middle one and there's one over there and there's one over there you can kind of see it up ahead there so now we're on the descent Vlogging. So this this route is going to be the more, you know, scenic and improved. There are lots of other roads off of this that get pretty gnarly, and you know can be challenging. I mean, some of these lo logging roads and hunting roads, you could go off on those, and they're all mud bogs and you know some pretty rough stuff, and they go down into the into the you know gorges and stuff like that. So. You really can pick your your you pick your poison, I guess. But again, you could spend all day just going on all these little roads here and there. And you know, some are dead end, some are just looping back around, some just come back, some connect to other roads. You know, but for this for today, this route is pretty much a straight shot from uh, when we came in on Highway 9, passing 7, and then we'll end up in 27. And you could easily go up 27 or down 27 and turn around and take one of the other parallel routes back. But that's a lot of riding. I mean, it's, it's what, almost three o'clock and I, I left, I met up with um, John at, at 10. So that's 11, 12, one, two, three, that's five hours already. And we're not done with this ride. You're talking another, another five hours just to get back the butterfly there had to give iron butterfly a little kiss I'm trying to remember where I went yesterday yesterday I think I went down this way that's the number 11 land. well let's just continue this way Yeah, it is. Ain't too long, about a mile or two, to beat that swimming hole I tell you about. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Be nice if you had some dispersed camping down there. Yeah, we got all these, uh, still got a mixture of oaks and, and pines, which is cool, you know, you get the oak and the pine tree pretty much mixed and 
versus all one of the other. So it's pretty dense forest down here. So we're going to take this road and we're going to switch back and go down, down this way, right up here. So it looks like we got some campgrounds here. Yeah, because it shows that on my map to uh to come down this way. Yeah, it's a low water bridge there, and I don't even know if it's been so long since I've been up here, I don't remember. I mean I don't know if the road's any good or not. Yeah, the other side of the road keeps going. Yeah. Well it used to. Back on the road, that little pit stop, that cool breeze feels really good. That was just a little loop that comes around, goes down into that gnarly. It looked kind of like it was, a, I'm just looking at it on my map because it was telling me to turn there. But again, it was giving me a false, but it, it's on a Table Mountain Road, Taboo Mountain Road. Okay, thanks. Oh yeah, that's a that does come up there. Well, that comes up here again also. And it comes back and it meets back up with it. We'll just keep going on this. Okay. That's another dual come out table. Yeah, let's just keep going. Yeah. We'll see. I probably would have known if I did. <laughs> <laughs> Up there. I'm, I, do you, I don't feel like it. I ain't going up there. All right. <laughs> Some long stretches there. You get to open it up. It's kind of fun. Uh, when I came through there, um, the other time I was just, I was wide open on the gas there. Oh, my arm is killing me. That was a fun little run. Yeah. <laughs> now that run yesterday, I was flying down that stuff. About what we were doing, but that that is definitely a fun run. <laughs> yeah. When I mean, you just want like to, if you like something, if you like that kind of forest roads, yeah. Number eighty three is like that all for just miles. Well, that'd be fun. <laughs> side by side. That would be fun.